Boys and girls watching, join us as we sing about our teddy bear. Class stand. I have the cutest teddy bear. When I go to sleep, he's always there. If you would like to meet him too, come over and I'll introduce him to you. Nice, sit down. Oh, hold your bear right here. Today, I want you to pretend to hold this kind of bear. What kind of bear is this, Kayla? A panda. A panda. A panda bear. That's what they call him. A panda bear. Now, he is chewing on something called bamboo. Where could we find bamboo? Do you remember? We've talked about bamboo before. Luke, where could we find bamboo? China. Yes, double high fives, this boy's thinking in his brain. In China. So that's where you would find the panda. Now, we've talked about lots of bears. We talked about the grizzly bear. We'd find him in the forest. In the forest. We talked about the polar bear. We'd find him in the Arctic. In the Arctic. And so today we're going to travel to China. And in China is where we would find this adorable, cute, Panda. Now I have to tell you about the panda. The panda has fur just like the other bears do. Let's look right here. So eyes on the ceiling, eyes on your toes, and eyes on my card. This is where I want to see your eyes right now. All eyes right here. And so look at him. He's different. He's got a little bit of the coloring of two of the bears that we've talked about. He's got some coloring like the Arctic bear, and he's got some coloring like the other bears that we've talked about, the black bear or the brown bear. So, but this bear is black and white. What color is he? Black, black, and, white. black and white. But guess what? His fur is not soft. It's not, it's very coarse and wiry, and it's not very soft at all. He looks like he'd be soft and cuddly, doesn't he? But he's not, he's very, his, his fur is very scratchy if you touched it. But the panda bear is such a fun little bear. When he is born, he is only weighs about one pound. That's what, like kind of carrying around, if mommy said, let's go get some flour or sugar, and that's like about carrying one of those small bags of sugar or flour. But do you know that by the time he's six months old, he is, weighs about 25 pounds? It is. That's probably about some, maybe a little less than what some of you weigh, about 25 pounds. And then when he gets to be a full-grown adult panda bear, you're not going to believe this. If you think this is going to be crazy, you can go like this. Are you ready? Let's, oh, I haven't even told you yet. Hands in your lap. He can weigh as much as a football player, from 250 to 300 pounds. Whoa, that is, oh, I didn't say talk. I just said go like this. That is a lot, isn't it? It is, it's a lot. All right, hands in your lap. So, but the panda, he loves, you know, he eats lots and lots of bamboo. He loves the bamboo. And do you see, does he look like he's got his face in the ground eating? No. no, he has good manners. Now, when you sit down at the table, do you put your face right in your bowl of cereal? No. no. Or right in your bowl, right in your bowl of spaghetti? No. no. Mommy has taught you, and we've talked about good manners at the table. We bring our food to us, don't we? We're not sitting there trying to be all in our food, and but some animals, that's just the way animals eat, and they put their face right in. Some put their face right in the water to eat, some put it right down in the dirt to eat, but not the panda, he brings the food to him. He'll sit up straight and tall, just like we do when we sit at the table, and he will have his, he'll use his feet right there, and he'll just hold it right in between his legs, and he will use his claws, God gave him a special extra claw there that he can use, and he will just hold it there, and he'll chew and eat, instead of bringing putting his face in his food he brings the food to him so he uses very good manners just like that now let's look at his features that's like his face you have features on you you have eyes and a nose and lips and ears so God gave him two eyes and he's got some black patches of fur around his eyes and what are these Ears. ears. It looks like he's got two little black pom-poms right there on top of his head because they're little puff balls of fur right there for his ears. And then he's got that cute little black nose right there. And then look, he does have some claws right there that helps him. Do you know why he needs those? Because the bamboo in, the chi in China, there's a bamboo forest. Say that. Bamboo, bamboo forest. forest. And in the bamboo forest grows that bamboo. And it grows really, 
really, really tall. And so the panda will make a pathway, will make like a tunnel through those bamboo so that he can go through the bamboo forest to get to the other side or go through it. So he needs those claws on his feet to help him make those tunnels so that he can get through it. And he eats along the way. So, but you know what? Pandas are very rare. You can't always find the pandas because sometimes they can't always find the food that they need and they might die. So they have to find the food that they need so that they can eat. But if they can and they get lots of food, then they can get as big as that football player and weigh all that big. And you know what? They grow to be almost as tall as Mrs. Stewart. They can grow almost five feet tall. They can wow i don't know that means that their heads would not touch the ceiling like the polar bear or the grizzly bear but he could just sit right here in your chair and eat his bamboo and be happy just like you do when you sit down but he is very cute so we would find him where in china and china and we would find him close to where the bamboo forest is and sometimes it gets cold there so sometimes there would be snow up in the mountains very close to that bamboo forest but he can stay warm because he has that fat in him too and he has all that fur and that will help to keep him very very warm so because there's not a lot of them that means the panda bear is what is rare say that rare that means you won't find a whole lot of them like you could find a lot of brown bears around the world and you can find lots of in the arctic you could probably find a couple more polar bears but the panda bears are kind of rare you wouldn't find them everywhere but you probably could go to the zoo and see one because usually zoos will have one that they get from china and they have them there and i've even seen little baby ones and they're so cute so they're really fun so it would be fun to visit China or even just go to the zoo and you'll see them at the zoo. The zookeepers will make sure that they have bamboo there for them to eat because they have to make sure they have the food that they need. Isn't it neat that God knew that the panda bear would need to eat and would like to eat bamboo? So he made sure, Myla, that he is in China near the bamboo forest because that's what they like. Just like mommy knows what you like. Mommy, make sure you have what you like at your house. God knew that the panda would need to be in China and live there near the bamboo forest. That's so exciting. So I hope that you, when we learn about these animals, maybe you can ask mommy to look up more information and maybe you can visit the zoos near you or maybe you live in China right now and you're watching from China and you see these cute animals and maybe you even have one near you and it's fun. Maybe you have a panda bear at your house, that's your teddy bear that you like to sleep with and cuddle, but they're really fun, aren't they? And the one that you have at your house, it's probably very soft, but is their fur very soft? No. No, it's very scratchy and wiry, but God made the panda bear just perfect, just the way he is, and it's fun to learn about all these different animals. Boys and girls watching, I hope you've enjoyed learning about all these different bears, and especially today about the panda bear.